All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and I wanted to bring you guys a little unpackaging of the MyLaps RC4 Hybrid Transponder. Um, this is a small little timing device that goes inside your vehicle, and basically with a track that is capable of recording your lap times, we'll call out your lap time and then also keep track of everything at MyLaps.com so that you can review that after you get done running. Um, I've been really kind of working on my SCTE and wanted to really start keeping track of my lap times to see how fast I can go. So I picked this thing up and here's the kind of weird part about this whole thing. Um, I, I've been kind of watching it for a while. I've been wanting to pick it up. It's about a hundred bucks out there to pick one of these things up. and. I kept checking and checking, and it was out of stock, out of stock, out of stock, and finally I, I called up my local shop, Nitro House, and I said, hey, I, you know, what, what's going on with the MyLapse transponder, and they kind of went into this thing where it was a thing that they would sell, but didn't really want to sell because they can't really make a lot of money on it, and so on and so forth, so basically I had them order me one, and they kind of brought them in. I, I would imagine that my laps or whoever makes these things, um, profit margin must be very, very tiny for some of the shops to carry, especially some of the the, the mail order shops. So um, I picked it up. I want to get this thing installed in my vehicle, and I have a few things I want to show you guys as far as comparison. You know how big it is. It's it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be once I you know had it in my hand. So. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this thing, see what you get inside of the little clamshell there, and we'll go from there. So let's uh, take a look. Bring this thing close to the camera because it is so small. So that's basically what you get there. It's a little clamshell. You can kind of already see the little RC4 transponder inside there with a the little holder. And let's uh, pop this thing open. And hopefully I can get it all out in one piece. There's the clamshell. So basically there's the little transponder. It comes right out. It has a nice little receiver lead there. Probably about six inches or so of receiver lead. And it's just a little two-wire job. There's the transponder. It has a little holder on there. And it is very, very small. Um, as far as the other items included, you get some official my lap stickers uh, they really went all out on these things for the hundred bucks and of course you get instructions in your local native language right there let's read together um, I think there is English in here somewhere hopefully oh these are picture directions let's, let's look at this together alright figure one put it in your car figure two plug it in and Drive a screwdriver through it. All right, I'm I'm gonna get right on that. But let's see, English instructions. Yes, they are on here. Thank God. Four point seven grams, including the holder. Wow. So I will look through those a little bit later. That's really all you get for your hundred bucks. Um, you know the little transponder here. Oh, let's uh, let's check out sizings. Hopefully, I'll be able to show the sizings here since the camera seems like it's so far away. Um, so if you guys can see that right there, here is a regular size SR300 receiver. And I really thought that, now I'm gonna pull this up to the camera here. I really thought that these were gonna be very similar in size. Well, there's that and there's that. You guys can see those two things, SR300. Very much smaller. I thought that they were gonna be about the same size. Let's also compare it to a penny. There's a penny. There is the my lapse. Kind of strange. Anyways, that is my official unpackaging. Not quite sure where I'm going to mount it in my in my vehicle. Looking online and looking at the instructions, it says do not mount to any metal surface. Do not mount to carbon fiber. Has to be mounted in a horizontal position, not vertical. Well, my whole car is metal and carbon fiber. 
So it's going to be kind of interesting on how I'm going to mount this thing. We'll see what happens, um, and we'll go from there. That's it for now, guys. If you like the video, hit that like button, and any questions, throw them on down below. I'll be doing an update video once this thing is mounted in my vehicle, and we'll go from there. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.